What's up everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to be talking to you about the debut album from the band Morbific entitled Ominous Seep of Putridity. This is released on Head Split Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Kiti, Finland, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional, dark, gory style of death metal. Uh, yeah. I'm very new to this project, but when I first started hearing waves of how good this band was, I wanted to dive deep and find out what the fuss was all about. And of course, in learning more about Morbific, I was introduced to their 2020 uh, debut demo entitled Pestilent Hordes. Seriously impressive demo from the get-go, from the artwork to the band logo, which I definitely get a lot of Impetigo vibes from. Uh, seriously sick riffs, low, guttural, monstrous sort of vocals, just some overall great music and sounds to be heard from this band. They definitely put the death in death metal, and I was very impressed with what I heard on that release, and I was looking forward to seeing what would come next from them. And now in 2021, we have the debut full length from Morbific entitled Ominous Seep of Putridity. It's 10 tracks, and it clocks in at around 33 minutes in length, and pretty much, this is pretty much following what any band would do once they put out a demo and then put out a full length. They take what they had from the demo, they expanded upon it, and they made something even greater and better. And I would definitely say that this is one of the most impressive death metal debuts of 2021, and definitely a big leap in, in, in sound for what Morbific are going for. Uh, I should also state that uh, Finland is an incredible country when it comes to putting out awesome black metal and death metal. And of course, this this won't be the only Finnish extreme metal I talk about here this month of June, so keep your eyes and ears open out for that. But going back to Morbific, I love the way this album starts off with the title track. It almost has that horror movie sort of vibe and aspect going for it. But then once you get past the intro, you get thrown straight into the music. And that is where the bulk of Morbific's success comes from, is the music. And I think this is some very, very well played and well established death metal. Uh, seriously sick riffs from front to back, riffs that'll stay stuck in your head and that are very memorable. You hear it on the opening title track and then songs like Ravening Slasher Creep, uh, Deformed and Phantasmal Fog, uh, Sawmill in the Mist. Just some seriously sick guitar riffs to be heard throughout this entire album. The bass tone is very rattling. I love that kind of bass performance when it comes to death metal, something raw, something rattling, and something to accompany the riffs that appear on this album very, very well here. Great bass tone on this album. The drumming on here has this very rich, natural sort of vibe going for it, especially when it comes to the blast beats and the snare tones. Just some really, really wonderfully done drumming going on here. I love the way this drum performance sounds. It feels very natural. And it, this band altogether feels completely different from your average sort of death metal band. There's something different about Morbific that sounds so good, and that's what I enjoy about this album a lot. And when it comes to the vocals, the vocals are very raw, very rugged, very primal, very guttural and undecipherable, and definitely fit in with the overall vibes and feelings of this album. This is definitely a strong death metal vocal performance going on here, and I appreciate what this vocalist is setting out to do with this album, with all the horror vibes and themes that I get from this, this band and album. This vocalist does an amazing job of making you want to pay attention to everything. So overall, if you're into finished death metal, if you are a fan of this band's first demo, I think you're going to enjoy Ominous Seep of Utridity a lot. This is an incredibly impressive demo. I mean, I mean, an incredibly impressive full length. The demo was great, but this debut album is even greater. I see great things happening for Morbific in the future, and I definitely hope more people can get into them. So, if I had to think of any personal favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say the title track, uh, Necro Slaver, uh, Deformed and Phantasmal Fog. Uh, Cauldron of Execution is another really good track, and uh, Perverted Surgery is another really good track, I must say. So, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Morbific Bandcamp page where you can listen to this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and it is available physically as a CD and cassette tape through Head Split Records. Of course, Head Split put out their demo physically last year, so it's only fitting that they work with them again to put out the CD and tape, so I know the quality will be high quality no matter what. So, again, the album is Ominous Seep of Utridity by Morbific. This is released on Head Split Records. Definitely check this one out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very strong 8.5 out of 10. Very impressive finished death metal with emphasis on death. So, if you happen to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it. Or any of you guys into Morbific, definitely let me know. I'm not going to do this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Armio out.